Hi guys, Amanda here from the Lenscap Chronicles. Thanks for joining me. We've got an epic journey this weekend, flying from Dubai to Jeddah. Then we've got the early morning red-eye flight from Jeddah to Al Baha. Uh, in Al Baha, we'll be exploring the amazing The Ain historic village, um, and then the Al Shada Mountains, which are famous for their amazing caves that people used to live in. Uh, some really scenic spots, as always, in Saudi Arabia. Then we'll stay overnight in Al Baha. The next morning, it's back to Jeddah, and we'll be exploring the old town, uh, which is called Al Balad. Cannot wait to share with you what this weekend's adventure entails. Okay, we are heading up the Ashada Mountains and it is a bit cooler. It's still fairly warm, but it's cooler than it was down at sea level. Um, these huge boulders behind us, incredible mountains. Massive peaks. This is the territory of the Arabian leopard. There are only around 200 left in the wild, but this would be the area you would most likely to find them if you were. Don't worry, there are <laughs> slim to none chance of us actually encountering them today, but they uh, love the mountains, the cooler climate, so it's where they would be. This mountain is amazing. It looks different at every angle. I just noticed there's some people standing up there. We've gone for a walk in the rock. <laughs> okay, got to keep going. Climbing up these crazy, crazy roads. See where we get to at the top. Just so green. I get over how green it is. Check this out. We found this little spot off the side of the road and you can see just how sharp and pointed these mountains are. There's another one that'll come into view soon. The ground's slightly uneven here so I'm glad I've got some good walking shoes on. This peak behind me just here. <laughs> That is so well defined. It's so beautiful and it's just peeking out above another rocky outcrop. This would be the perfect place if you were a mountain climber to come. I'm definitely not trying it. I mean, I've done my fair share of extreme sports and thrill seeking activities, but that is not for me. <laughs> just so relaxing here. I could honestly spend an afternoon sitting up here on these rocks. And it's actually a lovely breeze now, so it's starting to feel a bit cooler. The lighting is becoming even more gorgeous. It really does take away the stress of life, just coming out into nature, taking a minute. I am just in awe of Saudi Arabia's beauty. I've traveled here now four or five times and oh I just there's just so much untouched beauty in this place um, it's undiscovered a lot of it there's a lot of off the beaten track places to come that are just totally undiscovered unexplored really natural um, untainted by Western greed <laughs> and our current generation who want everything now immediately. Obviously, I've discussed some of the frustrations in traveling here. I mean, there's a lot of inconsistencies with what's listed on websites and on the internet when it comes to accommodation, um, opening times, local attractions, but it's well worth it. If you've got even a little bit of an adventurous spark, you are going to love it. The difficulties are well worth the trouble. just been informed that we have to keep on moving <laughs> so looks like it's back to the car and on with the rest of the journey on the 
road again on the ascent, being overtaken by a local. <laughs> Happy to allow that on these roads. <laughs> so fast you can go. So we're off to see how far up we can get in the Al Shaddai Mountains. Down this road we have actually found a little house. So we just stopped on the side of the road to show you and to check it out. It's got a tiny little doorway. I don't think anyone lives there, to be honest. Um, but it looks very cute, so let's go have a look. Let's check out the tiny little house. Such a small door frame. <laughs> Hello. I don't want to risk staying in for too long with the state of these mountains and the rubble everywhere, but very cute. Concentrating hard on the road here. Doing well. Good driving. Look at the cactus field. Amazing. Here we are at the top of the Al Shadda Reserve. There's a little bit further that you can go, but the road becomes so narrow, we are worried about the Fortuna making it through. We're gonna head back down to a little spot where there is this massive sheer uh, rock face that just seems to disappear into oblivion. Hey kitty cats. Whoa, steep roads ahead, buckle up. Now, I'm not going to get too close, but behind me you can see these incredible cactus fields. Super sharp, and there's a lot of them just falling on the ground here, so you have to be really careful. And they've all got little heart-shaped leaves on them. Very sweet. Wow. Oh my gosh, every view is different. Well, it feels like we are on top of the world. So tranquil just the sound of the baboons and us <laughs> and some goats uh, the local people in Saudi Arabia are so friendly we've already been stopped a few times I mean I'm in one of the most wild places in Saudi Arabia and we just got stopped by a local who lived in Melbourne for 10 years <laughs> he asked me where I'm from I said South Australia in Adelaide and yeah He's like telling me who his Australian Football League team is, um, the Hawthorne Hawks. <laughs> and yeah, so we were talking about the AFL in Saudi Arabia in a tiny remote little town. Crazy. We have a little wild dog here wanting some attention. You can see behind me. I'm not quite sure if he's safe to make friends with. currently in the Jebel Shadda Reserve and I think it might be my favourite of all of the mountains I've seen in Saudi Arabia so far. Oh, I'm not sure about Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer was so beautiful but these are just so unique. The rocks are so different, huge boulders and really high peaked mountains so they're really intriguing and super fun to drive through and climb amongst. We're just doing another quick side of the road stop so that I can try and get a good picture of this cliff well, this rock that disappears into nothing. I'll show you what I can see from here. We're going back down to De Ain now. We ran into a local who said pronounce it De Ain. So this is how we shall be forever calling it. <laughs> Wrong or right, unless you correct me, please. I've mentioned it before, but it's worth repeating. The Saudi Arabian local people are just so friendly. Uh, they're constantly stopping you if you're out walking around um, to say welcome uh, or offer to have coffee with you. Uh, 
um, I really wish we could have said yes to, to people, but we've been on a bit of a tight time frame. And from the amount of offers we've had, we could have been having coffee all day. <laughs> Just uh, a big thank you to my Saudi Arabian followers. You sent me some really lovely messages on my videos. And it's, yeah, really in keeping with the people here, I really feel so welcome coming to Saudi Arabia. Thank you.